The murder of Vanessa Guillen has renewed the call for change within the military when it comes to reporting sexual assault and harassment. And this morning, Guillen's family and thousands of others will bring their fight for justice straight to the White House. Channel 2's Brittany Jeffers is live this morning near a mural in Guillen's honor in southeast Houston. Brittany? And people all across the country right now are demanding justice. And I did just speak with the organizer of the No Moss movement. Uh, he lives here in Houston and led a caravan from here to D.C. He tells me that they just arrived and today they plan to march with thousands of people in her honor. It was a 22-hour drive, but Andrew Rodriguez just arrived in Washington, D.C. The Houstonian and No Moss Movement organizer shared this photo with us. He led a caravan to D.C. and plans to march today to demand justice and show support for Vanessa Guillen's family. You're not alone in this. You know, Houston's here for you guys. We're not going to let you do this by yourself. The Fort Hood soldier's murder has sparked a national outcry for reform. Yesterday, congressional lawmakers heard from military officials who examined how Fort Hood handles sexual misconduct allegations. The inspector general told them Fort Hood soldiers trust leadership to investigate claims of sexual abuse on base, but some lawmakers were skeptical of those findings. You know, for seeing reporting of over a third of the women being sexually harassed, if we have a murder that took place on Fort Hood, I, I have great grave, grave concerns about how we're measuring success uh, in this instance, and, and I think we're failing, quite frankly. Today, Vanessa Guillen's family and attorney will meet with President Trump and introduce the I am Vanessa Guillen bill, which would allow victims of sexual assault and harassment to report abuse to a third party. From there, thousands are expected to march from the U.S. Capitol building to the White House. Here in Houston, candles continue to burn in her honor at the murals and memorials around the city. Now, the Guillen family attorney did release a statement saying, quote, when someone volunteers to serve our country, they deserve to be treated with dignity and respect by their fellow service members. This bill will help us provide the protection and respect to others that was denied to Vanessa. Now, that uh, march is expected to take place at 10 o'clock this morning. Reporting live in Southeast Houston, I'm Brittany Jeffers, KPRC, Channel 2 News. All right, Brittany, thank you.